I'm Virginia McGethy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting to you on the grain market. Today, a big crop report. So let's start with the wheat. Wheat was sharply lower. The USD report had a harsh effect on the futures. At one point, we were down almost 20 cents. Uh, cuts in the crop forecast was not as bad as, as expected. Uh, these wild uh, weather issues uh, have analysts a little bit scratching their heads, so they're very cautious on making uh, other projections. But we're not out of the woods yet. You know, uh, the report that's coming in next month uh, could show something drastically different. But as it stands right now, uh, it looks like that we're as steady as she goes, and that certainly brought in the profit taking and a little bit of the selling and it weighed on those futures. Soybeans also was lower. Higher, uh, higher world stocks uh, really weighed heavy on the futures. Now, it certainly looked like the U.S. stockpiles were also a little bit lower, so it was opposite of what the world supply was. So uh, it kind of gave us, you know, like a, a double message here. Uh, but the sell-off began, and that was it. There was concerns that the yield reports ahead uh, are, are going to be uh, are going to signal like a bigger crop for the soybeans, and if that happens, then uh, it, you know it could be lookout below. Uh, but that's uh, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves right now, and you know with the market being overbought as it is, it lends itself to big gyrations that we've had today. So uh, that's expected to continue, and uh, for the rest of the summer, certainly with the wild weather that we've been having, uh, corn also tumbled. At one point, was down 17 cents. That really got hurt the most by the USDA report. This bearish report really opened the floodgates to a big sell-off in corn. The, the larger stockpiles, both in the U.S. and in the world, uh, just uh, sent the market much lower. It looked like that. Uh, um, it looked like that the uh, all the all the longs, all the short covering that had happened that really held that rally up was looking for some uh, com confirmation of fundamental news to really get that market moving higher. There were some bets that possibly we could get a nice number uh, to keep the market moving, but that just didn't happen. That's not to say that the yields coming in later on in the summer could get us right back to uh, where we were before the report came out. This just tells us that we've got a lot of volatility ahead, so hang on to your hat. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. I'm Virginia McGathy.